The officers down 5K honors those that keep our community safe, as well as those who have fallen in the line of duty. With us this morning, Deputy Angie Brecky. She's going to tell us more about the event that's coming up this weekend. First off, thank you so much for your service and thanks for being here this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So let's talk about the 5K. What's happening tomorrow? It's not just a run, but you can walk. There's family events. Right. It's um, a community day, so there'll be a 5K. There's also a kids fun run um, that you can sign your kids up for. Um, and there'll be things like inflatables. Um, they're going to provide lunch. Jimmy John's is actually providing lunch for all the runners. Um, face painting is going to be there. We'll have a bunch of uh, agencies there with their equipment. You guys can come out and see that. Um, I know Grand Forks SWAT team is bringing out their equipment, so people will be able to go see that. And we'll also have a canine demonstration. Um, I know uh, Kirkston Police Department is bringing out their Dunka Cop tank, so that'll nice. be yeah, <laughs> that'll be provided. So there'll be some officers you can dunk in there, and um, I believe we're having um, a Border Patrol helicopter that will be there so people can come out and see that. And just really getting to see the equipment. Um, there'll be a face painter, so it's really kind of uh, something for everyone and getting out and bringing the community together and you know, um, being able to talk to law enforcement and vice versa. Can you pay to get a Border Patrol helicopter ride? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, that would be I fun. wish, <laughs> yeah. But one of the things you were saying was this event is really great because it not only honors those who we have lost, but it also brings people in the community and then law agencies all together in one place and makes it feel safe and you get to know each other. Right. It was um, a lot about honoring those that have given their lives. And, you know, from our perspective in law enforcement, the, the community is the reason that we put on our uniform day after day. And we have this war on law enforcement across the nation. And we really just wanted to bring together the community and law enforcement. And our community is not immune to this, you know, war that's happening. I mean, we've lost Officer Jason Mosier and just recently Deputy Colt Allery. And that's just, you know, the beginning of a very long list of local officers that have, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice. So we really wanted to bring them together and, you know, show the community that, hey, we're here for you. Let's let's do this together. Let's be united and, and uh, go from here. And... Yeah, so it's going to be a really great time, I think. And you said you ran in the first one in Fargo. Yep, uh, me and my partner that I work with actually ran the first one they had here about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was just something that we had been talking about, and we got the opportunity this year to bring it into our community. And um, we were really excited about that. Everything kind of fell into place. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, we're really excited about it. We saw what a great um, opportunity it was for Fargo and how much it brought the community together. And so, yeah, we're really excited to have it with us. This so year. for people that aren't registered, can they still just show up and help out tomorrow? And yeah. one of the nice things, I know that there's a small fee involved, if, if uh, I think, right? But it helps support your Yes, so the and... online registration is closed, but people can show up um, at 145 tomorrow. The community day is from 2 to 7. There'll be registration nice. on site, and they can sign up there. And a portion of the proceeds that we are going to be making will go to the local FOPs, Lodge um, 2 in North Dakota and Lodge 8, which is locally here. And it's going to be earmarked for officers locally that are involved in critical incidents or you know, in crisis, um, and then a portion of that money also goes into the Officer Down 5K fund, which helps officers um, in crisis na nationally. Mm -hmm. um, so the fee, I believe, is up to $45, and then also, like, for the kids, if you want to sign them up, I think it's $15, and that includes lunch and, and whatnot and all the stuff that it has to offer there. Nice. So, And this is something that's happening across the U.S., too. I mean, not all on the same day, but this... Officers five, officers down 5K. Right. So it's a national organization, and they have, um, I believe Marshall, Minnesota is next week, but they, they are having them everywhere, all across the nation. They've had them out in Las Vegas, um, all over. So we were fortunate enough to be able to bring it into our community and, you know, got together with that. And, yeah, I mean, it's just popping up all over. Mm -hmm. Talk about how important it is, too, just for the community to connect with law enforcement and build that relationship. Um, I think it's very important. Like I said, they're the reason we go out and do what we do every day. We can't do this without the community. We need their support, and we don't want to just be there for the community when things are bad. We want to be there and show them we're here all the time. You know, let's work on this together. Um, we're here for you. So it's very important 
for both sides to come out and unite and be together on this. And so it's all happening where in East Grand Forks? It's going to be right in front of the Blue Moose and Whitey's, um, kind of nice. on that restaurant row there by the bridge. Um, there's a whole parking lot that's going, going to be um, quarantined off, kind of, so we can get in there and we'll have a DJ as well. Um, like I said, there's going to be face painting and that whole parking lot's going to be filled. And also, we're going to take advantage with our 5K route on the Greenway, which is a very beautiful spot there. Mm -hmm. And the weather's supposed to be great. And um, yeah, hopefully the water's warm for all those officers that are going to get dunked. But. <laughs> That's so great. And if the kids that. are bad, I'm sure there'd be a few people who wouldn't mind putting them in handcuffs, too. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> get a yeah, picture of them in those. <laughs> yeah, it'll give the kids an opportunity to get out and see the equipment. And, yeah, that's uh, cool. We're going to have a canine demonstration. Um, I mean, University of North Dakota Police is going to provide that. And So is the SWAT team bringing out one of those MRAP vehicles? you guys have one of those? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I know they have, like, a big... Um, almost like RV yeah, kind of thing. Okay. I believe that's coming out and some of their other equipment. They have so much stuff and it's really cool to see um, even from my perspective and I see it probably more than you know the average person but they have such like cool equipment so I think it'd be really great for the community to come out and see that too and yeah they have so much to offer and just cool gadgets and, nice. and whatnot so yeah. Very cool. I'm going to tase you tomorrow. No. <laughs> we should have done Do not tase, tase people, <laughs> Chris Burr. I'm going hangover when they tase us. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate yes. it. Thank you for Have having me. Have a great me. time. <laughs> Larson's like, oh, my gosh. I'm not. All right, stick around. We're going to wrap up this Friday edition of North Dakota Today.